me in the studio is John Quigley. He's a professor emeritus of law at Ohio State University, and he's written extensively on the Arab-Israeli conflict. Thanks so much for joining us, Professor. Now, my first question to you is about a comment that we've heard from Mahmoud Abbas and the PLO officials who announced that they will file a complaint with the ICC, the International Criminal Court, and you've been very critical of uh, this institution. So what can they actually accomplish and are they wasting their time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's not a waste of time to approach the International Criminal Court. Uh, there's a very good case to be made that these shootings constitute a crime against humanity, which is one of the crimes that is under the jurisdiction of the International uh, Criminal Court. Uh, and the court has uh, as jurisdiction uh, over this uh, acts in, in Palestinian uh, territory. Um, the, the court can uh, deal with individuals. It doesn't deal with governments. So it, it does not take action against Israel. Uh, it would have to take action against individual uh, officials, those on the scene or those uh, higher officials who set the policy that is carried out by those on the scene. Um, if the court indicts and prosecutes and convicts someone, uh, the government of Israel would probably protect them from being sent to the, uh, the court for being incarcerated. Um, however, every country that is party to the statute that establishes this court has a legal obligation to arrest anyone that is being sought by the, the court. Uh, which would mean that any of those people could not le legally travel to other countries. And there are over 100 countries that are, that are parties. But Professor, could you really see this happening practically with such strong support from the U.S. to Israel? Well, th there is that factor. Uh, however, the prosecutor has independent authority to deal with uh, acts that constitute crimes. She is presently investigating the possibility of prosecuting U United States officials for torture committed uh, in Afghanistan and, and at black sites in Europe. So she has shown some initiative uh, even when it would directly impact high officials of the United States government. Okay. Now, I want to ask you about the Middle East peace process. Uh, yesterday, we heard Jared Kushner saying that he is, the U.S. is still committed to Middle East peace, but, of course, the Palestinian prime minister, the Palestinian president, has said that the U.S. is no longer qualified to act as a broker. So where do you see peace now? Well, it's presently at a standstill. I, I think it was already at a standstill even before uh, Mr. Trump assumed the office of the presidency. Uh, but by taking the position he has on Jerusalem, uh, it makes it even more difficult for the United States to do anything effective. And I think that's why President Abbas has, has said that there, there needs to be some other forum. Okay. Professor, really great to have your perspective here on CRT World. That was Professor John Quigley, Professor of Emeritus of Law at Ohio State University. Thank you so much.